Hello everybody, welcome back. It's of course Sport Federation TV. We keep talking about sport in the Western Cape. And of course, as you know, um, ring ball is one of the national codes in South Africa. And uh, well, we have ring ball on the show on a regular basis as we talk about ring ball and the players and the activities in the province. Joining me on the line now is Marizel Ferve. Marizel is of course the players representative or the player herself for Western Cape ring ball. Marizel, uh, welcome to Sport Federation TV. Thank you so much. Uh, Marzell, um, first time for us to have you on the show. Welcome. That's obviously the first part. <laughs> but uh, let's start off at the beginning. Before we talk about players, representatives, and all the fun and games that you guys have had, um, how did you get started yourself with ring ball? I started family-wise. My mom played it since she was in high school. And yeah, I was the little kid running around the court. So it just naturally came as soon as I could catch a ball, I took the sport on. Is it hard work? Yeah, I, I would say so if you want to make it professionally and obviously for the Western Cape and making it more provincial. But all in all, it, you have to do it for the fun side of it as well. So, yeah. yeah. So uh, we've, had a, we've had a couple of um, uh, guests from Ringball on the show. Uh, I think uh, uh, two weeks ago we had Jaden Swartz on. Of course, we've had Vaynard Simon on the show, uh, your president of Western Cape Ringball. Um, uh, ring ball itself, I mean, you guys are currently not playing fixtures from what I understand, but the, the players are active and the clubs are active. Yes, yeah, so obviously general in South Africa, well, internationally, the COVID has made it a little bit difficult with sport-wise. So we took this time of the year just to focus on the minor things and growing up the sport. But from next year, we're going on our leagues is planned as normal. So hopefully all goes well by next year, March, we'll be playing again. How do the, just explain the league structures to us. How do the leagues work? So we have a variety of clubs that are obviously situated all over the Western Cape um, Federation. And then we play against each other. And those league matches we also use as our trials for the Western Province team. Um, the... So we play we are a round of four games against each other. And then we choose our national team, international teams. Yeah. So when you guys select a, a team, is it the best players that come together and make the team? Or is it one of the teams that become the representative? No, so it's the combination of all of the ver different clubs that we put together. And yeah, we choose our Western Cape. The best team is being chosen at the end of the day. So it's the different clubs that come together. So do you have to have a coach that looks at all the players and says, and the selectors, and he says, okay, I like that player there and that player there? So we have three selectors on our board um, for every team. So the selectors also differ for the age groups and the male, female teams, but we have three selectors for every single team that's being chosen. So do you have some players that are regular, regular team, um, uh, uh, make it regularly into the team? I mean, do you guys, do you have yeah. your sort of, uh, your provincial high profile champions yeah. that you know are, are the, the ones that are hard to knock off? Um, yeah, I think because Western Province, the sport here isn't as big as the rest of South Africa. So we are obviously growing a little bit more on this side. So I wouldn't say the selection is that big as it would have been obviously in um, Gauteng North. They have about 20 different teams to choose out of or clubs, if I yeah. can say it like that. So for us, obviously, your better ones is your better, will always be your better ones, if I can say it like that, until we grow to such a point where... Yeah, the competition gets better within our own circle. Um, and just, just just tell us about the team itself. I mean, you you obviously got is it male teams, female teams, girls, boys, um, uh, different different age groups. Yes. So we have obviously we have juniors, which is our, our school. So it ranges from under nine to um, under eighteen. Right. Uh, different age groups, um, male and female, both of them. And then on under 21 up until seniors, um, and you can even play up, we have masters, which is over 45. Right. So it goes, it's for the whole family. That's like I said, why we started it, because the mom plays it, the grandma always played it. So you go through the whole family. So um, 
uh, your, your position as you're obviously a player, a comp competitor, you've been doing it for a long time, but you're also the Western Cape players representative. Um, we know that at a, in, in sport codes, uh, the, the teams or at least the structures, they have a players representative that generally is there that if a player has a concern or someone that they need to speak to directly, they would go to the, the, the athlete's rep. Um, what is your role uh, as the player's representative? Yes, I would say actually exactly that. I am that middle way, obviously, between the players and the actual board. So if there's any problems or something that needs to happen, I'm the, supposed to be that middle man. Um, but like I said, at the moment, my job is kind of just you know, being half the mingle between everyone. I think as soon as you get to a point where it's bigger, and you know, then I think the job gets a little bit more heavy. But at the moment, it's just to make sure that the players are happy in general yeah. and that they don't have any, like, if they have concerns, I can sort them out. So, of course, we know that COVID has been very disruptive for everybody. As you say, the leagues and so on are not happening uh, or have, haven't been happening. Players have been uh, uh, training on their own and having some um, uh, uh, training sessions. What's, what's next for you guys now? I mean, we're heading towards the end of the year. We know that uh, the holidays are going to be up before we ever know it. What, what, what is the, sort of the, the, the next on your agenda? So we are going to have a party. It's our 50 year for the Western province side of ring ball. Um, yeah, we celebrated a century for South African ring ball a while back. And now it's our 50 year celebration. So for the Western Cape itself. So we're planning on just having obviously a whole function and that type of thing. And yeah, we're doing open days, our clubs. Um, so this time of the year, we only focus on growing the sport and pulling more people in that type of thing. So it's, more the fun three months of the year and then obviously from jan it's full start training for all of the clubs right so it's all about recruitment i mean a lot of it obviously about recruitment at the moment and obviously if people want to find out how to join um yes. they can visit the website which we've got on the ticket line here www.westerncaperingball.co.za yeah we are we are very social on facebook as well i mean the website so yeah. yeah it is it's very open there's videos and photos they are quite you know active on all of the social media form, platforms what's the sort of a uh, typical cost to join a club um and i mean if one goes on the website and you find a club close to you a place that you want to join what's the sort of the process so it normally is actually it's just a very it depends from club to club but speaking personally from my club and more the halderberg region and on clothing and stuff, we're very lenient going about that because obviously if you start, you don't know what you want to. So yeah. we only do the attire as you get into it. And But I mean, it's a, your kit and stuff normally goes through the club. If I want to join one of your clubs, can I just pitch up with a pair of tackies and a t-shirt and a shorts? Yeah, that's, that's your yeah, training and yeah, pitching in the beginning is so easy. So it's normally just, we call friends and ask them to come and join. So you just bring your pair of tackies and come. That's fantastic. Mar Marizel, um, every time we talk to you guys uh, from Ring Ball, we find out more information. I get educated all the time. When we had uh, Jaden on the show the other day, he was teaching me about Ring Ball and how you shoot outside from the, the ring. I didn't know that. I didn't know that the difference between, for example, netball, you stand right next to the hoop, but with you guys, you have to shoot from quite a distance. So I get yeah. educated every time I speak to you and you, you guys are doing such a fantastic job. Thank you. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite an interesting sport. So not a lot of people know about it in the Western Cape specifically. So yeah, we're working on growing it. That's fantastic, Marzell. We uh, obviously will keep talking about it on TV, and uh, we'll keep pushing uh, the members of the public to 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 your website. And hopefully, you'll have lots of new members by the end of the year. Yes, that's perfect. There we go, folks. Marzell Fave, uh, players' representative for Western Cape Ring Ball, and of course, player herself. And as she said. Uh, um, been involved in the sport for quite a while. It's been part uh, ingrained into the family structures. And of course, if you if you want to find out more about ring ball uh, or you want to join up, um, she also just highlighted how easy it is. Then just go and do so. Just go straight to the website www.westerncaperingball.co.za. Find a club near you and uh, get started.
It's a great sport to be involved in, fantastic administrators and a great spirit amongst the management and the players. Folks, we'll take an ad break. When we come back from the break, we'll carry on talking about sport in the Western Cape. Back in a sec.